We've got a specific capacity question here. It's one of us working with some students on, on Friday. We didn't get a chance to finish it, so I promised the students I'd post a video going through the answers. So uh, we've got a lot of copper, 0.12 kilograms. It's heated to Monson burner, and then it's transferred to some water, 0.45 kilograms of water, and the temperature arises. It doesn't say anything about the water. Uh, turning into water vapor, turning into steam, so we don't have to worry about that. We've got the two specific capacities, the water and the copper, and we know the water has risen from 15 degrees to 35 degrees. How much thermal energy has gone into the water? So this is just energy is the mass multiplied by the specific capacity, multiplied by the change in temperature. So our water, if we've got 0.45 kilograms, multiplied by the specific capacity of water, multiply the change in temperature, and it's got up 20 degrees. Then we just multiply that over 20, and you find, you pop that in the calculator, and we find it's gone up 378,000 joules of energy has gone into the water. Then it asks us state the thermal energy lost by the copper assuming no heat is lost during its transfer. And look, they've given us very little work, room to do any working at all, and that's because we don't need to do any working. We know the energy that's gone into the water, the same amount of energy is what has left the copper. It's one of those sealed uh, problems where all the energy leaving one thing goes to the other thing. And then we need to calculate the falling temperature of the copper. Okay, well, it's still going to be E equals MC delta theta, but now we're interested in the delta theta. We know we've got 378,000 joules of energy, and it's going to be, this is, this is how much energy the copper's lost. The copper, we've got 0.2 kilograms of that copper, and its specific heat capacity is 390. And that's going to be multiplied by the change in temperature. So it's just going to be 378,000 divided by whatever 0.12 times 390 is. So again, you put that into the calculator and you find the temperature change delta theta is around about 108 degrees C. Note though that really should be a minus because we're talking about a falling temperature. So the temperature has dropped by 108. And then finally, helps calculate the temperature reached by the copper while in the flame. So we know it's gone down 108 degrees C, and we know it finishes, its final temperature is gonna be the same as the water. The water rose up to 35 degrees C and then stopped heating up anymore, and it stopped heating up anymore because the two had reached thermal equilibrium. So if this is the temperature, the water stopped rising, then that's also going to be the temperature at which the copper stopped cooling. That's the temperature it got to. So our temperature is going to be, it's going to be the 808 plus the 35 degrees. It's, it's dropped 108 degrees and it finished at 35. So it must have started at 108 plus 35. So it must have been 843 degrees C.